All right, listen here, virgins. Actually, for this one, we're gonna... Oh, wait, hold on. All right, boys, listen. So, somebody made a guide, okay, dude, on gem art. Now, I don't know what you're thinking, Cody. why are you making a video on this? This is something I feel very strongly about, okay? And the reason for this is I'm known for gatekeeping. And I think that's wrong, unjust, okay? I do not believe that I am a strong gatekeeper, okay? However, it has happened to me often where I'll be like, bro, this guy's gems are shit. But then I realize the placement of like their level nines compared to their level sevens is fucked, right? Like, let's say you got a couple, you got like four nines and then a bunch of sevens. That's pretty good, right? Four nines and a couple level sevens, you know, four, five nines. You're chilling, right? That's all like normal Thamy. And I think you're fine with that. You know what I mean? You're chilling, right? That's way more than you need. But the thing is, because they position them badly, they get gate kept, right? Because visually you're like, oh, they only have level sevens. But if you organize them in an aesthetic way, right? Like, let's let me show you guys an example here, right? Aesthetically pleasing, right? Nines on top, nines in the bottom, sevens in the middle. So visually like whoa he's nine out bro he's gaming but if i like mix and match him it, look, it would look kind of weird right it would look kind of weird so i feel like someone making a guide on this is actually super important i want to see if i agree with it so gem art guide this guide was created to teach you how to organize your gems correctly while they may not be practical advantage to making your gem page look visually appealing that's wrong there actually fucking is because of gatekeeping uh there is no denying that the aesthetic of a well-designed gem page is an art form in and of itself uh, some gem enthusiasts take great pride in the arrangement and presentation of their gems, viewing it as a form of creative expression. Whether it's a carefully uh, curated color scheme uh, or an intricate layout, uh, the beauty of gem page is not lost on those who appreciate the artistry of it all. So see, I believe in this in more of an efficiency standpoint, right? I believe in the gem page being laid out properly to reduce gatekeeping, straight up, straight up. Uh, so while you may uh, not gain any tangible benefit from the beauty of a gem, it's not true. You definitely do. I promise you guys, I've accidentally get kept people not realizing how good their gems were, or they almost got kept because they didn't realize how good their gems were. Don't do this. See, this is a perfect example, right? This is a perfect example. It makes the gem page look like you have like fives, right? This is just this is just fucked. Although I will say, bro, get those fives out of there, right? So don't do this. This is disgusting. But we can learn from this, and it teaches us what to do. Okay, let's see what they got going on here. Things to consider. When arranging your gem page, there are a few things that you need to think about first. Ratio. The ratio of damaged gems to cooldown gems is uh, probably the first thing uh, that you must consider. Depending on your build, you must you could uh, have anywhere from the other seven damage gems. Uh, in the case of Demonic Impulse, you may have a singular damage gem and a singular cooldown gem. So first of all, for a page like this, I would say, guys, you know what I would do? Okay, you know what I would do? I would put a five here right? Then I would take this cooldown gem, I would put it up here, and then the level uh, five, 6 damage gem, I would put it in the middle, right? And then surround it with two level 7 damage gems, and then kind of rearrange the rest of the sheet. What this does is that it takes the focus away from the purple and puts focus more on the gold, right? Because the fact that they're going to be like over here, they almost look like a mantle, right? Because your vision isn't looking at it. You get instantly drawn into the level 6 in the center, and you're thinking, oh shit, it's level 6, but then it's accompanied by two level 7 damage gems on the side, and so visually, you're like, holy shit, this guy's gaming right this guy's gaming this is horrendous don't do this uh if you're a transform class and you're using only two gems consider uh another cooldown gem uh for see i don't agree with this and i'll tell you why i think just two gems on the side works or a classic tech here is you put on a damage gem from every other class in the game to make your profile here uh, as cancerous as humanly possible which gets meme value because i think meme value also works you know what i'm saying uh, in the case of a spare cooldown gem was added, the gem uh, was centered, although uh, it is imperfect imperfect due to the empty slots, you can tell that they uh, it's an improvement. That is true. <clears throat> that is very true. Uh, the eight, so this is pairing. The eight outer slots optimal for your, uh, for your main damage skill uh, as they allow you to pair their damage with their respectable cooldown gems as well. Start by understanding uh, the skill priority and the powerful. See, so this is kind of fucked because it seems like they organize themselves in their own way. Um, did they organize in their own way? Hold on. I'm a big believer in like making it look like you, your shit looks better than it actually is, right? You got to make it look better than it actually is. That's just a reality. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like shit like this, who cares, right? Who the fuck? The thing is like when you're talking about like pairing the damage, like who cares? Honestly, like actually who cares? Because no one's going to go over the gem individually, right? I don't believe this is a thing. 
Now, levels. This is important. Level 7 gems are collectively seen as a standard minimum for alts in the community. That's true. Furthermore, if your gem page has less than level 7 gems, it is automatically ugly. This is also true. Additionally, if you have uh, gems with different levels, try to place stronger gems in the center. That is also true. I believe in that. However, right, it, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make it look nice. You gotta make it look fucking nice. You know what I mean? I'll give you guys a good example, actually, of a, of, of a gem page I think looks pretty good. Okay, let me show you guys an example of a gem page I think looks pretty good. Okay, let's go on to solar. So my soul leader, in her current state, doesn't benefit from cooldown gems very much. The only cooldown gems that she benefits from is when they start to get to level ten. Okay. Other than that, she really is kind of capped out on cooldown besides two level 10 gems that she could get later on, but that's just not going to really happen until like forever for now, right? But she benefits heavily from cool from damage gems. So I put the four nines at the top with the center nine, right? Crowned in the center with two level eights. And so this makes a more appealing page, right? Because you you're you're taking to the nines. The bottom, you don't see this, right? Invisible. And then the nine, the four nines on the top, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of level nine gems. I see the event gems, I instant reject. Bro, you're cooked. Who even says that people want to play in your group, uh, cat dog? You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, you're cooked. Straight up, event gems. Guys, event gems and regular gems are the same kind of gems. Now, you guys, you guys need clinical help, okay, dude? You guys need clinical help. What I recommend everybody right now, okay, dude, is 10 cc's of Jana Michaels, okay, dude? Everyone, go Google Jana Michaels. Uh, and then come back to me. Everyone here needs to, their mind to be cleansed because obviously uh, it's been corrupted by hentai and dark magic. Okay, guys? Uh, in this example, the gem page in question belongs to the Surge Deathblade. The ratio is a 4 to 7, which is fairly tricky to work around uh, with unbalanced gem levels. But this player has done a fair job in their gem layout considering what they have to do, what they have to work with. I mean, this is just you put level 10 in the center. This is just obvious shit, right? I like the 8 on the side. You see the mantle? You see this, guys? You want to keep the nicer gems on the top, right? Because you're, you're, we're, uh, uh, Lost Ark is very top heavy. You're looking for that those top levels so the 10 here right you hide the garbage on the bottom and then look at that, those are two level eights looking good i instantly saw those right instantly saw those it's huge balance and symmetry uh you can tell uh this arrangement is visually appealing due to the symmetry that is true but the thing is you need all of the same kinds of gems to do this right a lot of gem art in my opinion comes from the idea of like when your gems are not equal right because when the gems are all equal it's easy to make it look nice right you just position it around until you think it looks nice it's when there's inequality that it's difficult to like really make it work depending on the ratio uh the gem ratio alternatively or alter alternation may unfortunately not be possible if you do not have five or six damage gems you uh, cannot utilize uh, alternation to achieve the golden ratio of gem arrangement. I mean, see here, the the issue with this, you know what I mean? Actually, no, this looks fine. He's got the two cooldowns there. He's chilling. This guy's eating good, right? But let's say in the case of a gunslinger, right? Or a deadeye, where you have those four damage gems. That's why you just park those, those motherfuckers right here. You know what I mean? You park those motherfuckers right here because then you make a gem sandwich. You know what I'm saying, boys? You make a gem sandwich. It's crucial. In this example, the user has achieved perfect gem arrangement by utilizing alternations between damage and cooldown gems. At any given point, the adjustment, the adjacent gems will be the opposite gem type, which means perfect balance has been achieved. Guys, I know this this video seems like it's a joke because you know I'm a little bit of a, of a jokester, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I'm not kidding when I say this. I've almost wrongfully gatekept people because their gem placement was dog. Okay, dude, you want to show off what you got. It's in incredibly important. Do you only have three level nine gems, right? Put those bad boys in the center, front and center. Do you have four? Fill up a slot. Do you have one? Put it in the center. You need to arrange your gems in a way that presents what you're offering. Because at the end of the day, guys, there's no way to know who's, you know, the imposter. You looking kind of sussy, my boy. Gamers, I appreciate you guys hanging out. YouTube frogs, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section or in my chat on stream. Uh, and remember, guys, if your parents are divorced, it probably was because of you. There's a good chance that you were the cause of the divorce, even though they told you it wasn't because of you. Having kids is hard, and more than likely, you push a loving relationship uh, to the brink of extinction. But on the bright side, Maybe your parents paid for old school RuneScape for you when you were a kid. So that was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Have a great rest of your day. I love you guys.